to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or to take arms against a sea of troubles. And by opposing, end them. To die. No more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks. The flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To sleep. Perchance to dream. I. There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? We have shuffled off this mortal coil. Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. Proud man's contumely. The pangs of disprized love, the law's delay. The insolence of office. And the spurns that, that patient merit of the unworthy takes. Well, he himself might his own quietest make. With a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear? To grunt and sweat under a weary life. But that the dread of something after death. That undiscovered country to whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. And thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly at war with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment. In this regard, their currents turn awry. And lose the name of action.